Uh, we are at Fort Rucker learning the basics of, of helicopter flying, vertical takeoff and landing, uh, specifically doing a, a very short version of the basic rotary course. Learning to fly in helicopters is really giving us the context to understand vertical landing capability, uh, which is akin to what we're going to do when we uh, land on the moon in the very near future. And it is a course that we call back at NASA Zero to Hilo. So it is designed to take people like me with zero helicopter, zero rotary wing experience and to give us some introduction to that. None of us have this rotary wing experience. So we are trying to understand the basics of rotary wing flight and specifically that whole vertical flight regime, what it's like to pick a point, to come down and land on it like that. For the first time in a long time, I, I really had to work hard. And I think that mindset uh, is really important to going back to the moon. NASA has flown this sustained mission of humans in space for going on 22 years uh, on the ISS. And that's doing things that are very similar to what we've been doing. Artemis is very different than anything we've ever done, even Apollo. And so putting ourselves in this mindset that we are going to do something very unique and very challenging, which requires vigilance uh, and attention to detail, that to me is the most important part of this. My, my very first approach to, to a brown airfield as I was coming in trying to land, I was just thinking, you know, my, my colleague Jessica is sitting there, our instructor Scott is right next to me, and I'm you know, imagining that that's the surface of the moon. And I mean, it was it, the combination of the hand-eye coordination, the vertical, you know, uh, motion, but also just this emotional awareness that, like, wow, this is this is really hard. And I'm really glad I'm practicing this here now. And there's an instructor next to me. We can all say that flying a helicopter is much more difficult than flying an airplane, but incredibly rewarding and such a great feeling when you figure it out and you're there hovering and you know that you're really kind of one with this helicopter behind the controls. The professionalism that we have seen in all of the instructors and all of the personnel here have really been very, very impressive. And you can see, you know, for me, learning to fly as a private pilot in the civilian world, I then had some exposure to how the Navy flies and we did an abbreviated T6 program at Navy Pensacola. And then here with the UH-72, it's really interesting to see how different those worlds of how military aviation, the foundations, the protocols, the safety, the incredible safety regime involved, that has been a great learning experience for me. And, and having that dichotomy, seeing both of the worlds has been very valuable, I think, to my development as a person and also as an astronaut.